Hello everybody, my name is Fortifier and welcome to episode 11 of the Contemporary Corner. Today we're going to be talking about Sonic CD. Now I know it's kind of out of character for me to release two of the same episodes back to back, but the next Fireside Chat is Sonic the Hedgehog 3, so I figured hey, let's go ahead and knock this one out because this is the game that predates it anyway, so screw it, let's go ahead and do it, right? I have a very interesting history with Sonic the Hedgehog, so growing up my dad had a Sega Genesis. On that I played Sonic 1, Sonic 2, and Sonic 3, but I never got into Sonic and Knuckles until I was an adult and bought it for the Genesis. In addition to that, my dad had a Game Gear with Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which if I remember right, is kind of a different game depending on how, how you play it, but that's neither here nor there. We're talking about Sonic CD, which I first encountered <laughs> in the Scholastic Book Fair catalog, and it was, ironically, PC software. So I had the PC game, right? Here's a fun fact about me growing up. There are two games historically that fucked up my Windows 98 gateway computer, which was already a piece of shit. Number one was the Zork Trilogy that I bought from Sam's Club whenever I was a kid and we went to Gulf Shores, Alabama during the summer. I saw Zork and I was like, wow, this is going to be fun and great and fantastic. Oh, wow, was it? Text Adventures. I had never played a text adventure game before, so I had absolutely no clue what I was doing. But it allowed me to see another game that my dad had that he had fucking shoved in a closet somewhere called Return to Zork, which we'll probably play at some point, but I gotta play the original Zorks on stream for you to get to it. Uh, the other game that fucked up my computer was Sonic CD. I remember I turned it off and I went to bed and I woke up and turned on my PC and all there was was like this flashing hyphen. That's it. It was just a flashing hyphen. And my dad was like, what software did you last install on this PC? And I was like, Sonic CD. He's like, the damn video games are breaking the computer. And of course, my, nobody would go out and give me a new computer. I think the next one I had was a compact. It was my dad's hand-me-down. Yeah, my dad was cool about getting me video games, so I'll, I'll, I'll say that. But anyway, this is what I played. Many people consider Sonic CD to be one of the greatest games of all times. Uh, I don't remember much about it. I remember it being incredibly difficult, and I remember that the uh, the bonus levels you like run on like a mode 7 kind of thing. I don't know, it's hard to explain. But I'm super excited to talk about it. I'm even more excited to crack it in and see, you know, how it is. Uh, this game advertises itself as having great graphics and great sound, but this is Sega. Sega was notorious for already having great sound and great graphics, so. But this game came out in 1993. Let's see what else came out in 1993. The weirdest racing game I've probably ever played, at least in how it's presented, the original Need for Speed on the 3DO. And I'm, I'm sure it came out for a, a few other things, but I happen to have the 3DO version. A game I just recently beat on stream, Doom. The original what the fuck am I doing game, Mist. I really, really enjoy this game. If you, if you ever get a chance to play Mist, play it, but play it like the real Mist version. You don't want the, the screen transitions, they're trash. Virtua Fighter, one of my least favorite fighting franchises. Clay Fighter, another really shitty fighting game. A game that I am wholeheartedly dreading to ever play again, Cliffhanger. And finally, another fighting game, Cyborg Justice. A lot of fighting games for 1993, but that's not surprising because Street Fighter had just power fucked the entire fighting game industry with uh, Street Fighter 2, and Mortal Kombat was coming out of the woodworks as well. I think Mortal Kombat 2 came out this year, maybe? But anyway, really, really interesting game. Uh, I'm super excited to play it. If you pay attention to how uh, Sega was behaving in the early 90s, they, they brought out the Sega CD, right? And the Sega CD was kind of them sticking their, their toes in the water uh, in a hardware that for the most part was kind of taboo. Not a lot of people played software in the form of CDs, you know, if they did it was PC. And uh, this is one of the first attempts at bringing a home console with the CD based medium. And like I said, a lot of people didn't like it. Jaguar wasn't overly successful, Sega CD wasn't overly successful, um, 3DO was definitely not successful, CDI, just don't get me started on CDI, CDI is fucking jank as shit. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at this case, it's a really pretty case, I'm really excited to take a look at it, so let's go ahead and knock that out. There's a lot of airplanes flying around today, so if you hear some background noise, I'm sorry, that's what that is. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at this copy. Uh, my friend Tesseract sent this to me, you may know him from the Antstream Arcade Anomalies battles that he sends me. Now, there's an airplane flying over right now. Look at this shit. This is glorious. Sonic CD. Looks like he got it for $36. That seems ridiculous, but whatever it is what it is. We got Metal Sonic. I think this is the first iteration from him. And of course, the infamous rating system, General Audiences. Is that what it says? Yeah, General Audiences. Sega's Medallion of Bullshit. Really pretty. Wow, good job, guys. Let's see what it says on the back. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I try to zoom in. In his first CD adventure, shit! Yo, zoom, zoom. 
In his first CD adventure, Sonic goes head-to-head -head with the Metal Sonic, Dr. Robotnik's evil hedgehog creation. Sonic discovers Robotnik wants all the time stones from the little planet so he can bend time and rule the world! Can you help Sonic get him first? Maybe. Time traveling through the past, present, and future, Sonic explores over 50 levels of adventure, plus amazing bonus levels. Q sound. I think Q sound's the thing that's inside of, uh... Yeah, Q sound's is the thing that's inside of Capcom uh, arcade cabinet, so this means that the sound's gonna be really good. Razor sharp graphics, a completely cool stereo soundtrack recorded with amazing Q sound technology trademarked, and an opening mini cartoon makes Sonic's latest clash with Dr. Robotnik his most awesome yet. I think this is the one that has Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom. <laughs> Remember that song? Bunch of bullshit. It's one player. Nice. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. I don't even remember. I, I think my, my CD was gold whenever I got it for the PC. I can't do this. Before. Oh, it's red. I mean, it's Sega CD, so they're going to break the rules anyway. Not for resale. Yeah, look at that. Promotion for uh, Echo the Dolphin. Okay, can we get this out? Come on. There's tons of stuff in here. I see it. Get out! Fuck! Okay. Sonic CD. Look at that. That is some shit graphic work right there. Is this the intro? It's like an anime opening. It's kind of funky how it works. A world that defies time. There's a bunch of storyline, which is really cool. This is a pretty dope manual considering. Uh, speaker placement. So they really care about sound in this game, it seems. Oh shit. God damn it. They really, really care about sound. Let's see what we got. We got some, some shenanigans afoot. That's what's going on. Boomerang controller. So that means a six button controller won't really do anything, which isn't surprising. You got run, jump, and spin. So unless he's got some superpowers I don't know of, then that's uh, that's it. All the items. The past. You can change the time in this game, which is which makes it really cool. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like seven levels. Seven levels, probably with three acts each. Game over and continue. Uh, there's probably a, a level select code. It is what it is. There's a time attack, high speed hints, and finally the credits. And then we got this looks like some stuff. $1,000 music CD sweeps entry from Sega Vision subscription. Hot new game info, exclusive art, all this shit. Do it. I'm gonna register it. It's great. What's this? Wow, we still actually have this? Incredible. Incredible. Is there a phone number for me to call? I wanna enter. Rules and conditions. Okay. Close. God damn it. All right, cool. That's the cart. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit of plot. All right, let's go ahead and talk a little bit of plot about Sonic CD because this one is kind of different. Usually we have the uh, the Chaos Emeralds. In this game, we have something known as the Time Stone. So pretty much, you go to this place called Never Lake, right? Never Lake, and there's a place called the Little Planet that comes by, and it's like an alien planet or some stupid shit like that. And I guess on these planets exists the time stone so I guess Dr. Robotnik wants to go in Thanos half of fucking the universe which isn't surprising because he turns everyone to Sonic's little friends into robots anyway uh, and pretty much Amy Rose I think this is the first mention that we have uh, over the course of all the games of Amy Rose uh, who Sonic says that he does dirty things with right Just, woo. and of course this is the first time that we meet Metal Sonic because that is the answer by Dr. Robotnik of what he's gonna do uh, for Sonic, so he creates this evil monstrosity known as Metal Sonic, right? But this game's really, really cool. I'm excited to play it. It's gonna be a blast of the past for me. I haven't touched this game since like 2000s, early 2000s when I had it, right? So I'm excited. Uh, this is one of the greatest games in the Sega. This is one of the greatest games in the Sonic library, so I'm very, very excited to do this. But let's go ahead and hop into it. I'm gonna shut my mouth, let's pop it in, and see if the Sega CD will even boot up. My, my Sega CD is very temperamental. Let's see what we can get from it. Alright, fingers crossed that this works. Sega CD has a tendency not to want to boot up. Uh, we should be lucky. 1993 Sega version 2. This is the first Sega CD game we played, isn't it? Oh, fuck! It worked! Nice. So if you boot this up without a CD, it'll go to the CD player screen where a lot of creepy shit can happen. Uh, Easter eggs on the disc and whatnot. I prefer not to do it because it, it, it gives me the creeps. Right, here we go. What's up, Sonic? Don't shake your fucking finger at me. There's some really good audio. Hold on. What? Oh my god, is that real singing? Hold on, what? Oh yeah, I remember this song. Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom! Yeah, I remember this song. 
Does it have the intro? Yes! It does! Fuck yeah! It looks like dog shit, but it's got the intro. Just so you know, the uh, the PC version of this game looks immensely better for this cutscene. I don't know what the fuck they were doing. Looks, This almost looks like it's a CDI, to be honest. I mean, sure, it's smooth animation, but that means nothing. From this generation? Come on. You could have done a lot better. There's games that were nothing but animation that looked a lot better than this small cutscene. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and skip this. We're just going to get into the game. Uh, this is a fantastic game, if I remember, so let's see if I'll totally not fuck it up. All right, get started. We got new game, RAM Data. Wait, is this a game that allows me to clear my RAM data? If so, that's awesome. Oh, that's convenient as fuck. Okay, cool. Good to know. Good to know. Alright, so press start, new game, let's do it. Alright, jumping right into Palm Tree Panic. I mean, it handles like a Sonic game, I don't know. Hold on, we're gonna pause real quick. I'm gonna turn down the volume on my TV, I don't wanna hear any back, like... Back loop. I know what a Sonic game sounds like, so. Yep, it's a Sonic game. Oh fuck, dude, I missed this. I had, like I said, I had this on my PC growing up. Wonder if I can still do it, hold on. Yeah! Such good music, too. Sonic has always had good music. Alright, so. Damn, it's been such a memory. There's nothing really. I've never played a retro Sonic that was bad. All right, can we change the time? All right. Apparently, this is the past route, so I guess we're gonna take the past route. I don't. I don't know. What? Hello? Did I find a secret? All right, we're in the past now. Uh, I don't remember how to turn change the time. I think you gotta hit the sign and maybe get a certain number of rings or something. I don't know. This game is addictive as fuck when it came out. God. Fuck you! You rustled my jimmies. Yo, stop it. This is gonna murder me. I'd, I'd rather you not. Boom. Okay. Yeah, all retro Sonics to me look the same, but for many people, this was like the standard. I don't know. This one is really fun. Uh, Sonic 3 would, Sonic 3 would come out after, I believe. Sonic and Knuckles is a really hard game. Future? It even says future. Alright, so what's the kicker for this? How do I get into the future? Do I need to get a certain amount of rings or something? Do I need to hit, like, warp speed? What, what the? What? Yes, you do, okay. So after you hit a certain speed, I think you're pretty much set to go to teleport, maybe? Hold on. If there's anything that'll do it, it's this. Okay, apparently not. Stop! Do I need to hit the goal sign? No, okay. Just run. I ain't get enough rings. I wanted to show you all the special, uh, special levels. Special level is really cool. Sonic made a good future in Zone 1. Okay. It controls really well, too. It's a little bit more sluggish than, uh, than what you would expect for a Sonic game. But at this point, it's been such a long time since I played Sonic that I'm pretty sure that this is how they all handle. That he's got, he needs a little bit of momentum to get started. Dude, shit on my face, dude. Get out of here, daddy. Alright. What's up with this creepy music? Ah, <sighs> oh, damn. This takes me back to a much better time before I had to pay bills and shit, you know what I'm saying? So, in other Sonic games, I would make it a point to not go fast because it, like, screws you over. This game it really feels like you can go fast. And you have to worry about any of the bullshit. I don't know, it's, it's, it's nicer to me, I think. Dude, fuck off, come on. See, this is what I'm saying, they, they, I don't think they ever really learned how to, like, make his movement rational, I don't know. It's, it feels very sluggish to move. And like I said, it's been such a minute since I've played any of the old Sonic games that I feel like it was always like that, and I'm just being stupid at this point, but... Ah, so fucking... oh, there was an extra life up there, shit. Alright, whatever. We're not in for the long haul this time. 
Back in the day, whenever I started recording these, I would sometimes do a uh, full playthrough. Hello. Oh man. Okay. Are you punk bitch? Let's go. I remember his fucking the sounds. How do I hit him? See, that's, that's just making it so hard to hit him. Is that I can't. There we go. Get fucked, pussy. Get fucked, pussy. Yeah, buddy. All right. Fuck out of here. Little shit. All right. Did we do it? Did I set free all the furry animals? No, I just planted trees. Best music in the in the series. I don't care what anybody says. This is the best music in the series so far, at least con compared to like one and two. Definitely worth it. Collision chaos. Amy, what's up, girl? See, I remember seeing this and being like, who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Are you gonna follow me up here? Hey! Yo, you bitch! Motherfucker, give me my girl back! I think that's who she is. That Amy Rose? I think it is. It's just a very early version of her. Because it doesn't look like the Amy I know and love today. Alright, let's go ahead and activate the, uh... All right, we got the future sign again. I don't, I don't really understand the mechanics as much as I should. Uh, the manual is really good though, so if you want to read the manual for the game, just do that. It'll explain everything perfectly. I promise. Motherfucker, zap my girl! What the fuck are you doing in, in collision chaos? That's what I need to know. Silly woman. All right. What's the point of this? Do I need to go up here? There we go. Wow! Oh, get off my dick. Oh yeah, I remember those guys. I used to hate those motherfuckers. This was my first encounter with a praying mantis, and it was bad. What, is, what kind of pixie dust are you? Alright, here we go. I don't think we're gonna see a single special level. I'm not really good at Sonic games. I never really was. And whenever I play them, I usually... I don't tend to go for the, uh, the Chaos Emeralds or any of the time stones or whatever, which is probably what I should do, but traditionally it doesn't change the outcome of the game, you just see a slightly different ending. At least in number one, it was the difference between Dr. Robotnik juggling stones and crying like a little bitch, so I don't, I don't know exactly how the ending works. Alright, we got the past. How does the past work? Because we're in the future. How do I activate the future? Alright, more of these. Let's see. Really pretty game. What's the... Whoa! Okay. Well, that did fucking nothing for me. God damn, get off here. Alright, where do you want me to go, game? So, as a child, I remember making it to a level that was, uh... It was underwater, so... That's why I hate the underwater level so much. I'm stuck, okay. Sonic 3 is a pretty good Sonic as well. I, I don't know, I... They're all essentially the same game, at least in the retro aspect. But once you start getting to, after, after like Sonic 3 and Sonic and & Knuckles is whenever shit starts really getting funky. When they really try to push that whole 3D idea that unfortunately is total jank shit all the time. Greetings! Goodbye! I don't really have much to say about it, because like I said, if you played one, you played them all, right? I just feel like this one is the, the far more superior entry if I could like rate them all, I don't know. Still hard though. You still gotta be really good at uh platforming but that's mostly based on the mechanics all right future shit dude get off my dick Ooh, nasty gnarly 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 no thank you hello god man these these memories they i i wanted to do this episode like more than any because i wanted to have that nostalgia feel uh this is one of the games i owned as a kid i mean not this particular version but you know the pc version and i sunk so many hours into that and it's just phenomenal to see it in front of me again. Like, it makes me sad, almost. Because it brings, like I said, it brings me back to such a good time. Where life was just easier. And I didn't have to worry about bullshit all the time. Not that I have to now, it's just as an adult, you, you experience things that you'd rather not. It's like bills! And CHILDREN! I'm just kidding, I love my kids. Collision Chaos Zone a tree. Here we go. This is gonna be a boss level. What up, nerd? I see you there. I see you. What are you trying to do to me, Robotnik? You're trying to give me the old one-two, the old razzle-dazzle? Boing, boing. Stop it. 
Stop it. They got jank fucking games like uh, Sonic Spinball. I hate Sonic Spinball. God damn, do I. That game is bullshit. I hear him. His, his song consists of him laughing, and I think that's what gets me even more. Alright, so we gotta get up here and then, you know, power fuck his asshole. Power fuck you. This level alone is better than uh, the entirety of Sonic Spinball. I wonder if this is what inspired them to do it. <laughs> this one particular level. Just pure fucking pinball all the time. Right, we gotta we gotta give we gotta get up there. Alright. Perfect. So once we clear it, all we gotta do is keep hitting him from uh, underneath. And if I remember right, that's how we beat him. We just keep whacking him from underneath. You know what I'm saying? Underneath. Whacking him. We're on the same page. Give him the old one what's for, you know? Dr. Robeat Dick? Just kidding. It's horrible. Alright. God damn. Mother of God! Okay. Come for that ass. There we go. The levels are just gonna keep going up. There we go. Got him. Nailed him. Whew! I swear to God, I might actually play through this whole game tonight. I still can't get over how cheesy the opening intro looked. Cause, oh fuck. This is the farthest I ever made it as a kid. <laughs> I hate water levels because of this one level. Um, but yeah, I can't get over how cheesy the opening sequence looked. It looked really bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blur in real quick. I'm gonna blur in the, uh, the PC version of it. Just so you can see the difference. It's, I, if I remember right, it's distinctively different. Distinctfully. Distinctly. I don't know words right now. Uh, do 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 do. Cool. I don't remember if it was this one or the second one. One of these parts just absolutely blow. It reminds me a lot of Sonic 1 where you, you it's like an instant death trap and you're just you're consistently boned. That's the kind of shit that goes on. Alright, give me some oxygen. Boop, boop, boop. Hey, I'm getting to suck. What's going on here? I don't remember this. Hello. Am I like stuck stuck here? Because it like pushed me in there. Oh no! I had all the rings and now I do not. This game suffers from severe frame rate drops. That's irritating. It's not undoable, it's just irritating. Is this gonna murder me? Is this where I'm supposed to be? Yo, chill the fuck out. God damn it. Well, I don't think this is the level that power fucked me, but it might as well have been. Oh, Jesus. No. No. Don't want any. Oof! Okay. Got the bonus. Nice. And we're boned. Oh, whatever. We'll figure it out. I think this is what messed me up as a kid. I was just getting stuck all the time. I didn't know which way to go. You know, granted, as an adult, I've played a fuck ton of Sonic games. At least one, two, and three. Uh, we've beaten three. I'm actually on uh, this game. So, next time on stream, if you see me play Sonic, it's gonna be this one. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no. Don't kill me. Please. I need oxygen. 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 Oxygen! Oxygen, the TV channel! Oh! Clutch. My butthole. Tight. Also, shout out to Tesseract E, one of my close friends who actually bought this game for me and sent it to me. You're a real champion. Alright, so this is the auto pusher. It sucks, but this is what it is. I always thought what the fuck that was for. Because not like you can get it. You know, they're just gonna push you over. So why the hell would you put a power up there? Is, is it a is it a trick? Is it a Loki trick? Yep, this is the level. This fucking level. Okay. We gotta we gotta reclaim my virginity, children. Let's, let's we gotta we gotta we gotta reclaim my virginity. We gotta do it. This game power mm. This part right here, man. I swear to god. We beat this! We've officially made it farther than I've ever made it as a child. And that that means the world to me. Alright, more future. Are we still in the past right now? What's the difference? Don't let that squish you, you will die. Okay. It's a rat it's a trick. It's a ruse. It's a ruse! Are we already in the future? I think we're in the past though, aren't we? It's not like I can get up to speed to change the time either. I think once you've got it set at a certain point, you it's really difficult to change it. Alright, you get stuck in here, like I said, you die, so let's not do that. Let's not. Alright, we're gonna leave it in the future. I don't know if that changes anything. Dildo! So as long as I'm jumping, the cork will follow me wherever I'm going. And I don't need it anymore. It sounds like you know what this song could have been in GTA San Andreas? <laughs> it's got that that uh Dr. Dre vibe to it. Give me oxygen. Boop, boop. Okay, thank you. This fucking part. You, I have died more on this fucking part, bitch. We gotta reclaim my virginity. If we don't, my wife will find out. 
And she's gonna try to have another fucking kid with me. All right, we're breaking pipes and shit. Give me the ah uh ah. -uh. There we go, thank you. You gotta be fast. We're just gonna wait for the reset. We'll get some oxygen. It'll take like two seconds. So one Mississippi, two Mississippi. There we go. And you gotta be quick, which is easier said than done because for some weird reason, underwater, just the frame rate. God damn. I don't think that's a necessarily a bad thing. Like, this is gonna be a game changer for me. It just mildly inconveniences me. And if you know me, I don't like being mildly inconvenienced at all. Shit. Any inconvenience is inconvenience. And we got five rings. I don't think that's enough for a bonus, though. But hey, virginity reclaimed! Alright, total t title Tempest. That's the name of this level. So am I in the- So I am in the past. Hello! Oh, nice. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, there's voice acting for Sonic, too. I think this is the first time we've ever heard his voice. It would be Sonic CD. Oh, dildo. No, get the... Hello? Oh, he's gonna murder me. Well, nice knowing you guys. Oh, he didn't. The fuck is sweet? Oh, you're boned. Come here. Come here. Come here, you. Come here, you. Come here, donkey. All right, so this should all drain out. Yeah. This is why I hated this. Ooh. Ooh, baby. This is the level that took my virginity. Virginity declaimed. I need oxygen bubbles. How am I gonna get him? By stealing him. Yep. <laughs> Thankfully for me, he doesn't have too much health. Shit. It's just, this whole game's a gimmick, but it's one of the only gimmicks I can approve of. I don't know. They, enemies, like, bosses made sense in Sonic, and that's what I can appreciate. I can appreciate that. I like it when bosses make sense. Dead! Yeah, who's laughing now? And virginity reclaimed, reclaimed. Did this is uh this is new to me. This is new to me. Quartz quadrant. Wow, this is really pretty. This oh, so pretty. All right, bring me the future. Thank you. I'm kind of curious what it looks like in the future. We don't have any of the time stones, and I think at this point we're probably not gonna get any, but it, it's okay. I'm not a completionist. Oh, nice, dude. This looks dreadfully different. So what they did is they took the quartz quarter and turned it into a refinery. And that's what we're looking at now. That's pretty cool. Bunch of conveyor belts and stuff. Nice. All right, what are we doing? No, 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 I don't want any. Hello? Okay. I'm thankful those caterpillars don't have spikes. That's usually the way it goes, and they're usually assholes. All right. All right, so that doesn't kill me. That's nice. All right, are these just... Constantly changing in and out. I think they are. Yeah, they are. No, I don't want to go back to the past. I can fuck off. What does the F mean? I just realized that. Does it, it can't mean, like, lives or anything, right? I don't know what it could possibly mean. Alright, is this going to shoot me anywhere? Honestly, this game, this this one in the past might be better. There's some gimmicky shit going on here. I'm assuming that the past flag won't last forever, so... That's one thing I love about Sonic. They never deviated from their sound effects. They just remained pure to everything. Sure, it's the same game every year, but shit, I would have rather played the same Sonic game every single fucking year than have to deal with half of the shit that they put out nowadays. Is this a, is this a maze? Don't maze me, bro. Please don't maze me, bro. I don't want it. Oh shit! We got enough. All right, let's check out the uh, let's check out the bonus level. It's really cool. If I remember right, this is the you race the UFO or something. I don't remember. Very rarely got to get to it. All right, what's the gimmick here? Come on. That's so pretty, dude. So you start really slow. Do I have to destroy all the UFOs? Sonic, you goof. Alright, so that gives me faster boots. Yeah, I think we got we got like a minute to destroy all these. The problem is, is that it's really fucking finicky. Really finicky. Jesus Christ. Alright, which one has the time stone? That's what we need. Alright, apparently I hit something that kicked me out. Whatever. 
you play any Sonic game, you can see the tropes a mile away. It's nice. God damn! Like for that guy, for example. You, you know, you know, you fucking know. God damn, chill. It's a horny level. Everything's horny. Fuck! I was hoping to see, like, to get to the Metal Sonic fight, but I don't feel like putting in a cheat code, so. Either we beat this game or we don't, but we're not gonna be beating it today. So if you're here to watch this video, to hello? Yeah, so he's grinding away the bottom of his thing. Little stupid bitch. So this is probably a lot easier than I'm making it to. There we go. Right, fall back. Shit, I fell back too far. That conveyor belt doesn't mess around. Anyway, I think we've seen enough of this game. We've been recording for about 32 minutes straight. We haven't gamed over. We haven't really uh, fell behind. I think we can rate this game. I think we can talk about it. Very good experience. Very nice nostalgic experience for me personally. Uh, but I'm going to shut up now. Let's go ahead and jump to rating the game. All right, we played the game. Let's go ahead and rate it. Now, we're going to start with a cart. And if this cart doesn't scream, buy me from across the store, I don't know what else does. And to be honest, everything that Sega put out, specifically Sega, has this amazing art style of it. I mean, you can see it's got Metal Sonic and it's got Sonic and it's got everything that's in the game and it's really appealing to the eyes. I don't know. It's, it's really, really nice. Plus, the manual doesn't fuck around either. The manual's like super in-depth. Uh, let me grab another Sega CD game so I can explain to you just how much they care. So this is one of my other personal favorites on the Sega CD. I don't have that many games. Uh, if you can see in the background, I probably got about like 12. But Fahrenheit, this game's one of those FMV games and you play as a firefighter. And while the game itself might not look that appealing because, like I said, it's FMV, the front of it's fucking dope. We're gonna give the card an A. Gameplay. Now, the gameplay for Sonic CD is simply fantastic, alright? It reminds me of every other Sonic that I've ever played. However, one key component it seems like they never fixed, and that is the pure sluggish motion of Sonic walking forward. It feels like it takes 20 steps just to move one little inch, right? It, it's very momentum based, and it's very strange. And then it gets even worse whenever you go underwater, where. Unfortunately, I don't think they ever fixed it in the retro games. Uh, there's a slowdown. Every time you get hit underwater, the game lags immensely. It lags immensely, okay? Uh, in between me filming this and working on the next Fireside Chat, I did the gameplay for Sonic 3, which is the game that came out after this one, Sonic 3 on the uh, Sega Genesis. Yeah, that bitch is the exact same way. Exact same way. They just never fixed it. Oh well. Hindsight, right? But we're gonna go ahead and give the gameplay a B. Art. Every Sega game fucking ever is RGB supported and because of that it looks razor sharp at all times. I've yet to play a Genesis game that looked like mush to shit, okay? Even the sports games that we played look really, really decent. I can't knock it. Art gets an A. Music. The music in this one's fucking tight. If you get a chance to go and listen to the soundtrack of any of the Sonics, they sound awesome, but this one in particular just stands out to me. Maybe it's because I have some nostalgia factor with it, but definitely gets an A for me. Fun. 100%. 100% this is probably one of the greatest Sonic games out there uh, at least from the spectrum of which it existed which is you know early 90s 100% um, worth it but that leaves us with an overall score of a B I know math is weird okay it's a 4.8 if we do a 5 point system it's a 4.8 don't judge me go judge fucking Blaze Pascal I think that's his name right anyway if you like what you saw down in the comment section below tell me what I should be playing next on the Fireside Chat. The next episode will be the season one finale, so maybe we'll start off the next season with a bang, maybe whip out some Intellivision stuff or some of the older stuff uh, that I usually don't get a chance to pull out and talk about them. Um, I'm excited. Uh, this season's been a magical, magical time, meeting a lot of new friends, playing a lot of games, collecting a lot of systems otherwise wouldn't have. But anyway, uh, if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next episode. And from my family to your family, good energy, good vibes, Fortify Fire out.